hi and welcome back to the Aeronautics channel. Um, I finally got something to fly. I gave up on the aircraft and I've, uh, for now anyway, and I've moved on to this, this quad copter. Anyway, just going to run through some bits on this. It's basic stuff for those who don't know. But uh, if you're not interested in this kind of information, just skip forward to the, to the flight test. So these are the components here. You've got these two, these motors, obviously, and uh, you should know these motors counter rotate. So they require a different propeller. These two motors spin the same way and these two motors spin the opposite way. And you need, uh, these are a different type of attachment I had on, on the, the last set of props, but the normal prop connections require um, counter rotating nuts. And uh, so that they tighten when the motor's spinning, because otherwise you can lose a prop, which I managed to do, which caused a crash. Um, the motors are the same motors exactly, but you just connect the plus and minus the other way to get them to counter rotate. These are the speed controllers, these things here, these little blue things. They plug into this power board here, this board under here, and that's plugged into the, the Pixhawk flight controller. Here's a GPS sensor for the flight controller. Over the, over the back here, you've got the uh, radio receiver for the, um, the radio control that's plugged into the, to the flight controller via its uh, SBUS interface there. This is a, a back here. This is a power supply that I use for, to power the Raspberry Pi here. And um, this phone here is just a 4G smartphone. I had this flying on here as well to give a Wi-Fi connection to the to the uh, Raspberry Pi, which allowed me to uh, have a live video feed, as you'll see in the later in the video. Connecting on Wi-Fi is a very good, stable way to do it, I found. Anyway, um, that's that for the uh, quick description of the, the uh, quadcopter, and um, we'll go on to the uh, flight test now so you can see how it actually works. Uh, this is my first attempt, by the way. Anyway, on to the flight test. That little beep was it uh, arming there. It's actually, uh, there's a, a point there where it took off. It's actually quite sensitive on the throttle. You can't just, it's not like a DJI or whatever. I'm sure you can set it up like that. But you've actually got to control the throttle quite uh, quite sensitively, otherwise you're up and down, as you can see. I'm sure that's all settings and tuning, because I didn't do any tuning on it at all. This is, this is really just the first flight. Anyway, I had a, had a technical problem about now at some point. We'll see. Yeah, so basically that lost a, lost a propeller at that point. There you go, you see it again. Now, here, here we're back on the... Um, this is a second flight, but now I've got the camera going, and this is a 4G connection to show you the camera over 4G. And you've got the the um, heads up display on. To POS yeah, that's a that's me changing the mode on the uh, transmitter. So you can see this is a 4G feed. It's a little bit jumpy because I think the frame rate's probably a bit high, but the, there's very little latency in that. That's only only takes. Uh, that's only losing about a quarter to a half a second, which is good enough if you've got a stable uh, stable vehicle to fly it by. Why it froze there, I don't know. That's weird because the whole screen froze. Remember the HUD data is coming to the screen differently from the video data. <coughs> but it, the, the thing was basically pretty unstable. And uh, this is quite a heavy quadcopter, so I think I'm gonna build something a lot lighter. I've got some ideas. Um, also, I had problems with the propellers, with vibration, with the GPS position hold. Um, you know, th this wasn't a simple thing to get to this point. This wasn't a simple thing to uh, to get to fly properly. And now, when I put it on land, on auto land, um, at some for some reason, it started getting wildly out of control, and then it threw another prop again, but this time for a different reason, and it hit the ground. Anyway, so there you go. There's my two test flights. <laughs> As you can see, I'm a bit of a beginner with this stuff, but um, it's a good start anyway. 
if you've got questions please put them in the comments below um like and subscribe and uh, also i put my telegram address uh, under the video as well you can contact me directly if you've got questions i'm looking for people to collaborate with so um please do uh, do get in touch thanks very much